I'd like to introduce you the main point of our article, which is mainly concerned with, the, with, with a fundamental problem of uh, evolution, which is the following. Consider a community of n individuals, a large number of individuals, in which you have one mutant, which here I show in red. What are the chances for this mutant to take over the whole community after some generations and the whole community to become red at this one? This is called the probability of this mutant to take over the whole community, its chances of success is called the fixation probability, which here we show with the note by the symbol pi. So in its most simple form, this problem has received the uh, uh, mathematical solutions by many of the founding fathers in, this, in its most simple form. Consider a community like this one, where when one individual dies, it gets replaced by the progeny of another individual, uh, this one or this one or this one, with the same chance, or with the progeny of this mutant by a slightly better chance. The better chance of this mutant to replace uh, the dead, the dead uh, uh, individual is called its fitness, and it's very often noted as 1 plus s. S is the additional fitness of this mutant. The problem is, what are the chances of success of this mutant given its uh, additional fitness S? And this problem has been solved in this very, in the simplest case, which is when one individual dies, it can get replaced by any other individual in this community. However, this is too simple. In fact, if you consider individuals which are spread into space, when one individual like this one dies, it has a far better chance of getting replaced by one indiv individual which is close by than by one individual which is much farther away. So the problem we want to tackle now is how to take into account the migration patterns to compute the fixation probability, the, ch the chances of the mutant to take over the whole community. The most rigorous way of uh, tackling this problem has been introduced by Maruyama in the 70s, and it's called the island models. The space is divided into m islands, and each island contains n individuals. When in a given island, say the island I, one individual dies, it can get replaced by a local individual, or by the migration of a progeny of, from another island, say j, and the probability for this one to be replaced by a progeny of somebody in this one is called the migration probability from island j to island i. And in fact, all the information about the migration is contained in this quantity, uh, m by m quantity, m i g, which const const constitutes a big matrix, m. And now the problem is, knowing the, the, the matrix m and knowing the additional fitness S of a mutant, are we able to compute the fixation probability of M and S? And this is a very general question. Of course, you can suppose in the context of evolution where this, these are individuals spread into space, but the migration can be much more complicated than just to the next nearest neighbor. For example, if you, you suppose a community along a river, Downstream, uh, uh, downstream trees cannot send their seeds, their seeds to the upstream. If you're, if you're thinking in terms of the spread of uh, epidemics, individuals are, are viruses, the islands are their host like us, and the migration ma matrix is the, is the chances of encounter between individuals, between humans. If you are thinking in terms of cancer, then the matrix M is the chance of a metastatic cell to go from one part of the body to the other part of the body. So this is exactly what we have achieved in this paper. We are able, given any arbitrary matrix M and uh, adaptive fitness S, we are able to compute the fixation probability pi, the chances of taking over the whole community. So at this point, we can much generalize the model we are working on. I was mainly speaking about what we call the voter model. We can extend that to what we call the, the invasion process and so on. The important path is that now that we can do that, for fixation priority, we can find all the migration path, this has huge applications. First of all, of course, in the, in, the, in the evolutionary dynamics, but for example, if you're an epidemiologist, you want to contain the spread of a, 
uh, epidemics, then you can look at all the migration paths which, which uh, limit, which decrease the fixation probability, and you can decide how to limit the encounter between people, for example. And there are different kinds of applications like that. I don't l uh, go to, to more details. I invite you to read the paper for, for this broader perspective. Thank you very much.